Welcome to the Louisiana Department of Revenue's new taxpayer training. This program is designed for new sales tax accounts. All information in this training is subject to change set forth by changes from the Louisiana Legislature or Louisiana Department of Revenue policy and system upgrades. There are three primary objectives in this program. First, sales tax, filing frequencies, filing deadlines, payment requirements and methods, and most common mistakes. Second, the TAP. Where is it? What is it? Difference from parish file. And third, parish file. Where is it? What is it? Common questions for parish file. In the event you do not have a state sales tax account number, you will need to register for a sales tax account. Go to the Louisiana Department of Revenue webpage at revenue.louisiana.gov. Look for the LATAP link below as noted by the red arrow and access the link. To register for a sales tax account, Click the Register a Business link below as noted by the red arrow and follow the instructions on the next page. Upon completing the registration process, I would like to provide you with information on the return filing frequencies. New businesses are required to file returns on a monthly basis using your 10-digit state ID number found on the sales tax registration certificate. If the average monthly tax amounts do not exceed $500 for a period of six months, a taxpayer may submit a written request to file quarterly. If quarterly returns exceed an average of $500 per month, the department will require a quarterly filer to file returns monthly. A taxpayer can have their filing frequency changed. However, the change must be requested in writing and approved by the department. Filing frequencies are reviewed by the department once a year and notices are sent to taxpayers. Changes are effective at the beginning of the calendar year. Requests to file on a more frequent basis can be made to sales.inquiries at la.gov. You may be required to file electronically. Let's discuss filing deadlines. Returns or payments filed electronically must be transmitted by midnight central time of the filing deadline day. Date transmitted is a determining factor. For filing deadline information concerning holidays and weekend filing dates, review electronic filing guidelines at revenue.louisiana.gov. Returns or payments delivered by the United States Postal Service are deemed filed on the date postmarked by the United States Postal Service. Returns or payments delivered by taxpayer or courier are deemed filed on the date delivered to the Department of Revenue. Next, let's discuss payment requirements. Tax payments of $5,000 or more must be remitted electronically or penalty will be assessed. Tax payments of less than $5,000 may also be required to be remitted electronically if taxpayer previously requested electronic funds transfer mandate. A payment remitted to the department that is later dishonored, NSF, is not deemed paid until the date the replacement funds are posted to the state of Louisiana's bank account or guaranteed money is delivered to the department. Additional interest, penalties, and or fees may be due until payment is made. We are all not perfect, so let's discuss some common mistakes made when filing your return. Deductions taken on the front of the sales tax return without documentation on the return schedules. Deductions will be disallowed and the taxpayer billed for additional tax due. A deduction cannot be taken for utilities or other business expenses on a sales tax return by a business owner. The wrong form is used for a particular period. The scan line at the bottom of the return is for a specific period 
and is for that period only. Kindly refer to LDR's website for the correct return. Bad debt deduction cannot be taken on the sales tax return. A refund claim for bad debt can be made once a year and shall be approved or denied by the secretary or his or her designee. Vendor's compensation cannot be taken on delinquent sales tax returns. Do not use a zero with hyphens on either side in place of a zero. Do not use zero with a slash in place of a zero. It is better to leave a box blank than to enter a zero or any other symbol that represents zero. There are several methods for filing your sales tax return. LATAP, a free electronic filing program. Parish eFile, also a free electronic filing program. Sales Tax Online, an electronic program that charges a fee and is not supported by LDR. Sales Tax Manager, an electronic program provided by the IRS and is not supported by LDR. LDR's Paper Return, Form Number R-1029. Kindly refer to the website at revenue.louisiana.gov for the correct version of the sales tax form. Please do not use any old forms for other tax periods and or business entities. Next, we will discuss LATAP, Louisiana Taxpayer Access Point. LATAP. LATAP is a free service offered by the Louisiana Department of Revenue to allow taxpayers to submit returns and payments online. Currently, there are over 400,000 accounts using the LATAP program. This slide details the various tax returns that can be filed utilizing the LATAP program. As shown on the left portion of this slide in red are the 14 taxes where you can file and pay. They are the general sales tax return, the prepaid cell phone return, the New Orleans Hotel Motel tax return, and this return is utilized by hotels and motels in Orleans and Jefferson parishes. The statewide hotel motel tax return, which is utilized in the other parishes of the state. The New Orleans Exhibition Hall Authority return the automobile rental tax return, the withholding tax return, the fiduciary income tax return, the state and local beer tax return, the tobacco tax return, the tobacco tax stamp return, the oil field oil return, the oil field gas return, and the international fuel tax agreement return, or IFTA for short. Also listed on the left portion of this slide, you may receive certifications for severance oil and severance gas taxes. Now, listed on the right portion of the return in green are the 15 taxes that may be paid utilizing the LATAP program. They are severance tax gas, severance tax minerals, severance tax timber, Corporation Income and Franchise Tax, Alcohol Excise Tax, the Wine Excise Tax, Inspection and Supervision Fee, Hazardous Waste Disposal Tax, Transportation and Communication Utilities Excise Tax, Terminal Operator Fuel Tax, Motor Fuel Transporter Fuel Tax, Supplier Fuel Tax, Importer Fuel Tax, Distributor Export Blender Fuel Tax, and Aviation Fuel Dealer Tax. There are several actions within the LATAP program. You may file and amend returns, you may submit payments, you may schedule future payments for up to 90 days, and you can update the mailing address. Additional actions include update location addresses on most accounts, Update doing business as or trade name of an account. 
view account balances, and print letters such as the resale certificate, tax clearances, or any other correspondence issued by the department to the taxpayer. This slide is used as a guide to assist you in locating the LATAP program. Access the department's website at www.revenue.louisiana.gov and the first link under the business account information is a link to LATAP as indicated by the red arrow. Next, we will discuss the Parish e-file online application. What is Parish e-file? Parish e-file is an online tool that facilitates secure electronic filing of multiple parish sales and use tax returns and remittances to local taxing authorities throughout Louisiana from one central site. No charge is made by the state or any local authority to use this program. This program is useful for businesses that operate in multiple locations throughout the state. The following tax returns can be filed through the Parish e-file application. In addition to the Parish sales tax return, you can also file the State General sales tax return, the Statewide Hotel Motel tax return, the Orleans Jefferson Parish Hotel Motel tax return, the prepaid wireless cell phone service tax return, the New Orleans Exhibition Hall Authority return, and some parishes have their own hotel motel returns that may be filed utilizing this program. The chart on this slide highlights the common areas and differences between the LATAP and the parish e-file programs. To access the Parish e-file program, visit the department's website at www.revenue.louisiana.gov and the link will be right below the link for the LATAP program under the business heading as indicated by the red arrow. This slide shows the home page of the Parish e-file application. At this point, you can register if not already registered, and if registered, you can enter your username and password to log into the program. This slide contains some of the most commonly asked questions about the Parish e-file program. Question, I applied for an authority account number, but have not received it. Who do I contact? Answer, you must contact the Parish authority directly. Question. I have received a notice from the parish. Who do I contact? Answer. Please contact the parish authority directly. Question. My account says it is blocked. Who do I contact? Answer. Please contact the parish authority directly. Question. My payment was rejected. Who do I contact? Answer. For parish returns, Contact the parish directly. Question. Can a return be filed without making a payment? Answer. No. Returns and payments must be submitted at the same time. Question. Should I receive a confirmation number for the return and for the payment separately? Answer. No. The confirmation number is for the return and the payment. For additional parish e-file information on frequently asked questions, please visit parishe-file.revenue.louisiana.gov slash faq.aspx. To contact the Louisiana Department of Revenue for additional assistance, please call 855-307 3893, select option 3, then option 2, or fax to area code 225-231-6201, or email to support-parishe-file at la.gov.
This email link is on the bottom of the parish e-file homepage as signified by the red arrow below.